What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin awesome Show. Today we're looking at the McFarlane DC Multiverse. A little Superman wave I've thrown together here. So we have a combination of a bunch of Superman characters. So first off we have Superman in the black and silver outfit. So like the Superman Returns sort of outfit. But this is from the Superman Lois and Clark comic series. So I like the look of that. Just Superman with the all black outfit and the beard and stuff. Then we get Superboy Prime from Infinite Crisis. Which is really cool. And he just looks like Superman. But with a cool outfit like armor and stuff on. So I'll look at that. And then of course we also have General Zod from DC Rebirth and Lobo. So those look really cool. Some villains there for our characters to fight. So the General Zod looks pretty cool. You know, looks sort of Superman-ish, but with this big chunky arm on him. And then Lobo, the cool bounty hunter, is always awesome to get. So this is a cool set with a bunch of Superman-related characters and Superman himself. So I hope these figures are pretty cool. So let me get them open and we'll take a look at them together. So let's start off with Superman here, which looks awesome in the black and silver. And again, this is from Superman, Lois, and Clark, a comic story that reintroduces the post-crisis Superman through the life and adventures with his wife, Lois Lane, and their son, Jonathan Kent. And he dons this black suit that was given to him on his anniversary from Lois. So this is just pretty standard Clark Kent, you know, a Superman just in the all-black outfit. So he has the all-black spandex with the silver, as I said. So he has the silver S on his chest and then the belt with the silver all around there and then has the silver boots on as well. And it's very similar similar to the Supermans we've already had. Just no cape on this one. And then he has the different Clark heads, so face is pretty similar. He just has a beard this time, but he still has the curl on top. So overall, I think he looks pretty cool. It's awesome to get him in the black and silver suit, very much like the Superman Returns outfit. But let's go and do his movement. So his head can twist all the way around. He can look down that far and up just about that far. So not too good a movement. I still don't like how a Superman, you can't really get his head up too far. So you know, in the flying position. So you can't get him looking up too far, which always stinks. Shoulders can come up to 90 and has the butterfly joint can rotate all the way around. We get a bicep twist, the double elbow joint that can bend up that far on itself. And the wrist can twist around on the ball joint can flex back and forth. We have the ab crunches, so the upper one can crunch forward very little, but back mostly, and can twist all the way around. And then we get the lower, so crunch forward more and back, so better crunching there and can twist around there as well. The hips can come up under 90, out to the side that far. Pretty much no thigh twist. Double knee joint that bends up that far to the back. And then the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side with the toe joint on the end. So it has the standard movements for the multiverse and not a bad figure overall. It's just it's Superman, so he feels a little lackluster. But for accessories, we get some additional hands. So again, if we want to do the flying pose that I said, it's hard to do because of his head. So we get some flat hands so we can put him in the flying position. As well with that, we also get the base. So this one comes with the flight base so we can stand him up on it or we can put him up in the flying position. So let's try that. So there I got him up on the flight base. So now he's in flying position. Again, I just wish the head could move more to get him in flight position. But overall, I think that looks pretty cool and pretty standard, you know, just overall for Superman. But of course, we have his card here there in the all black with an awesome background of the Daily Planet from Superman, Lois, and Clark. Of course, real name, Cal Allen. They have pretty standard storyline overall for Superman until we get down here where it says after their universe was wiped from reality and replaced with the new 52 worlds that make up the multiverse, Clark, Lois, and their son, Jonathan, have been transported to a new, different Earth after remaining undercover for many years Clark dons a black and silver suit and operates as Superman in secret so there we get the backstory a little bit of this Lois and Clark storyline there but overall pretty cool for Superman like I wish he just had the cape and it would be a pretty cool Superman with the black and silver but that's just how he appeared and overall I think it does a pretty good job of carrying out that look so I like it overall. And next up, we have Superboy Prime, which was an alternate Earth form of Superman. And when I get to his card, you'll learn more about him. But he looks pretty cool here. You know, just looks pretty much just like Superman. Just has the Superman outfit on, but with this armor on over the top, which is based off the Anti-Monitor's armor. So it's an armor that constantly supplies him with the sun's energy. So he always has the sun wherever he goes. So he's always pretty much as, as powered up as he can be, which looks pretty cool. So like I said, it's like this Superman outfit just with the armor. So he has the blue spandex, red underwear with like yellow line around it. S on the chest, but I like the black black background on this one again mixed in with the armor the red cape on the back and then he's got silver armored boots that lead with the tubes like I said feeding the yellow sun into him so he's got these arm gauntlet pieces with the tubes as well as the big shoulder armor and tubes running all around in through it and stuff so that is overall pretty cool and the face looks pretty similar to Superman you know he has the curl and stuff just a little bit different looking face and of course this one has the side eye so you gotta position that which is annoying but overall I think it looks pretty cool but for its movements, his head can twist all the way around. A little bit difficult because of the color piece, but it can go all the way around. It can look down that far and up that far, so pretty decent. Still not very good because of the up look, but it's there. Shoulders are a little bit stiff and can come up to 90, have the butterfly joint, and can rotate around within there. We get a bicep twist, the double elbow joint, that can bend all the way up on itself there. And the wrist can twist around and flex on the ball joint. We have the ab crunches, so crunch forward and back there with the upper one, twist around there, and then we should have the lower one, yeah, crunch a little bit and twist there as well. 
Hips can come up there about 45 degrees, so not good out to the side yet, close to doing the splits. No real thigh twist once again, but a double knee joint. That can bend up that far to the back, and then we get the foot that flexes back and forth very little because the armrests are just a little there, and can twist side to side with the toe joint on the end. So pretty standard once again, just limited movements because of like the armor. So not as good as that last Superman, but overall I think I like his look a little more. Now for him, the only accessories he comes with is the flight stand as well. So with that, we can put him on. So there I got him on the flight stand, but he's more limited in the poses you can do because of his joints. So that's really about the best I can do there, but still looks pretty cool. And then we have his card. So there he is. And it says from Infinite Crisis. And on the back, of course, Clark Kent, but his story is a little bit different. So it says an alternate reality version of Superman. Superboy Prime comes from an earth where the DC superheroes and supervillains were fictional characters until the day his powers were activated and he becomes the world's sole superhuman. But after his planet was destroyed in the crisis on infinite earths, he became unhinged over time and eventually clashed with superheroes of the main DC universe in the infinite crisis event. Ultimately, Superboy Prime was defeated and imprisoned in the source wall, the barrier that surrounds the universe, only to break free when it was destroyed years later. However, when another crisis threatened all of reality, Superboy Prime proved himself a hero once again and helped save the DC multiverse. So there's a little bit more backstory how he got the Superman powers and then turned bad, but good once again. But overall, I think it's a cool figure. I like the look of it a lot, but obviously figure-wise, it's not as good as past ones because he has more limitations and stuff, but overall, I like the look. And next up, we have General Zod, real name Drew Zod. He was the general of the Kryptonian army that was imprisoned in the Phantom Zone with his followers, following his harsh actions to the people of Krypton. But he eventually escaped and arrived to Earth to have a conflict with Superman until he was imprisoned again. So, of course, we've seen General Zod like in the Superman movies and stuff. So, if you've seen those, you kind of know more of his backstory. He looks awesome here with all Kryptonian armor and stuff, just the big, heavy, thick armor, and then the all black underneath with some nice textures into it. it just looks really cool. But I like the all silver armor with the gold details so he has like gold there on his chest up there going around on his shoulder pads and I like the logo there don't know if that's like the Zod logo or whatever I've never really seen it before but then some gold down on his knee pads with the silver as well so just overall looks really cool has a black cape as well with some nice texture into it just overall looks good and face looks relatively similar to Superman just a little bit older it looks like there with the beard and the hair and stuff but overall it's just like a modified version of Superman it seems like but let's do his movement so his head can twist all the way around and he can look down just about that far and up that far. So not very good movements there. Shoulders can come up with the soft shoulder pads. You know, it's hard to get it, but you kind of force it up to 90 air. It doesn't really stick, but it has the butterfly joint and can rotate all the way around. We get a bicep twist, the double elbow joint that can bend all the way up on itself. And then the wrist can twist around and flex on the ball joint. And then we get the ab crunches, so the upper one can crunch back and forth, can twist side to side. And then we have the lower one there, can twist all the way around and crunch a little back and forth. Still no thigh twist, double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back. And then we get the foot that rocks back and forth because the armor piece is not much and can twist side to side with the toe joint on the end. So he's pretty similar to those, just a little more movement in his hips, which is always nice. But he is a little bit hard to stand because of his cape and I guess upper armor is kind of always pulling him back. So he comes with just a base plate to pop him on. So with that, he stands a little bit easier. And then he comes with a additional hands so we get a set of fist hands so we have just a set of hands which are real small especially for his big chunky body and then he comes with the opposite hands of what he has so he's like an open hand and like a grasping hand and then he comes with that so like the open the claw hand and then the other grip hand as well so we got those hands so he's got a good set of hands which most figures don't come with that many but they don't know why it doesn't come with weapons or anything so it's kind of pointless but getting all those is nice and then we have his card so there's his picture from DC Rebirth and of course Drew Zod as I said it says once considered a military hero of the planet Krypton General Zod decided Decided he would rather rule his world than serve it. He launched a failed coup after which he was exiled to the prison dimension known as the Phantom Zone. Soon after, Krypton exploded and the years flew by, but General Zod remained safe in the Phantom Zone without aid. Over the years, he's escaped time and time again and used his Kryptonian powers to threaten Earth, all the while declaring his enemy Superman will die or kneel before Zod. So that is pretty cool explaining his whole backstory there. So overall, pretty decent figure. You know, it's cool to finally get Zod in a figure like this, so I'm pretty happy with it. I just wish he'd work a little bit better. And our final figure of the day is Lobo, the last surviving Zanarnian and an intergalactic bounty hunter. And he looks pretty cool here. So he has this all white face with the long black hair and he's like a motorcycle type guy. So he's got the leather jacket with the spikes and everything just all ripped up. He has gray skin, which I would think his skin would be the same color as his face, but they did like a gray skin, but with an all white face. So a little bit weird there. And then he's got the like black leather gloves on his hands. He's got a dirty like gray shirt that's all ripped up and torn, but it's got the nice line. So it's almost like a tank top shirt, nice belt on with a skull on it. 
it, so pretty hardcore. Jeans on his legs, and then he's got these boot covers that go all the way up with these knee pads with skulls on them, which spikes everywhere, and big heavy boots there that are black, so probably a leather design as well. So like I said, he's just pretty hardcore looking and pretty awesome as well, so just looks really cool. I like his face design with the all black, so he's got like, I assume it'd be like a black mustache, could be like a paint, I guess, on his face, but then he's got the black little beard there, and then some black paint around his eyes with what looked like some red eyes in there, which is pretty creepy, and then I like the blue highlights on his hair as well. And around on the back, we have Bite Me Fanboy with a skull with wings and stuff, so that look, just looks pretty cool overall for him. I think he looks pretty awesome. So let's do his movement. So his head there can twist, probably get close to getting all the way around just about that far, unfortunately, because of his hair. And then you look down that far and up just about that far. So not the best movements ever, but not bad. Shoulders come up to 90, have the butterfly joint, rotate all the way around. We get a bicep twist, the double elbow joint that can bend up that far, so pretty much all the way up on itself. And then the wrist can twist around and flex on the ball joint. We have the upper half crunch, so crunch forward, crunch back, twist side to side, and then the lower crunch, so crunch forward, crunch back, and twist there as well. Hips can come up closer to 90, out to the side that far, a little bit of a thigh twist on this one, a double knee joint that bends up that far to the back, and then the foot can flex back and forth a little bit, kind of stiff, but can flex back and forth, twist a little side to side, and has the toe joint on the end. So once again, he has decent movements, still not the best, unfortunately, but it's not bad. And overall, I just like the look and design of him. He's pretty cool. For accessory, of course, we get the base we can pop him on. And he has some minor issues standing. It's not too bad. I can get him to stand most times, but sometimes he has issues. So that base will be nice. And for accessories, he comes with this chain with a big hook, which is pretty awesome. So we have this chain we can put around his arm and then the hook we can put into his hand. So let's see if I can get this on him. Okay, so I keep trying to get the chain into his hand and I am having so many issues. So there's about the best I can do is just have it on his arm and kind of just dangling down there with the chain. So unfortunately, I was trying to like get it up into his hand, but I can't get it in there because the chain's like a really soft material. His hand is really stiff, so I can't get it in there at all. But there's about the best I can do. And then I did want to show off, we did get another one of these figures and my brother did repaint it because he thought it'd look a little bit better. So here is his repaint. So pretty much he just painted up the shirt and then added some paint to like the skull pieces and just added some different thing so not much to it or anything just very minor changes just took the figure apart and painted like the shirt and stuff and then painted like I said the skulls and everything you can see there just add some more color and stuff to make it look a little bit different not so just all gray and drabby but overall this is a pretty cool figure I just like the look overall I just wish the figure itself could just be a little bit better well, there's our DC Multiverse Superman wave that I threw together here, where we had a lot of cool figures that relate back to Superman. So we got Superman from the Superman Lois and Clark series, and they all black and silver, which is cool. Superboy Prime from Infinite Crisis, General Zod from DC Rebirth, and Lobo from DC Rebirth. So all these figures look really cool. Of course, we just have a lot of black going on here, black and gray, but then having that Superboy with a touch of color adds some to it. But overall, they're pretty decent figures. I think they all look cool. They're all individual and unique and everything. Just my overall stance with the multiverses, I think they could all be a little bit better especially joints with the actual figure but looks they do really good so overall i do like the figures like i said especially the looks but let me know what you thought of them down in the comments and if you enjoyed my review let me know with a thumbs up but i want to thank you all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review